Hello my dear friends and welcome to another Marine Generic video by Adventure Story Channel. My dear friends, uh, sorry that I have uh, been long time before here and today I really really like to make some videos for you and also I will make in the future. And let's start quickly to check our images. This is uh, the vessel from my last voyage and like I like to share all the things that we do there and how it was working. Also we will see some important things for the new engineers which they must also uh, take in their consideration. As you can see he, here and I like to start uh, this is a box where we have all our tools uh, for the uh, fixing a thread, uh, tuppets, we have also uh, extractors here located and also this tool here is to separate uh, piping flanges, this kind of tool. There is vari various uh, sizes and also uh, extractors you must have uh, from the smaller until uh, to the bigger and if it possible to have also hydraulic. As we know by the time uh, there is a, a lot of tools which is accumulated in the engine room and the proper storage of them it's really important so you will be able to determine them quickly and it will be more easy for you to work. So from here we have finish and we will go to our next picture here. So as we can see and as we can check before, we check that here we are preparing uh, our engine room. Uh, we change some things, we change uh, the position of the tools we make them appropriate, to make them better, to work for us because we are working there. Uh, with that situation and, and that uh, placement of the tools and arrangement, for me it is better to work. I don't know for other engineers, but this is uh, the way I'm working. So we have also, as you know from the latest regulations, that we have acetylene and oxygen uh, valves must be closed while at port and uh, while not in use. This is really, really important. Never make any kind of hot work uh, on operations, discharging or loading. It is prohibited. Also here we have uh, some instructions about the operation of welding area, how it must be what to wear and also there is uh, masks, protecting masks, uh, for mask also for grinding, if you are making grinding here, this is the area of hot work. Also the table must be stand on the wooden uh, stands for the reason uh, to not be earth on the ship's hull. Also our incinerator here have some indication which type of plastics we can burn and we must follow uh, this all regulation is coming from the marble. Uh, also here we have some instruction from the manufacturer who fix uh, the incinerator and he shows the programs and operation uh, temperatures. We have also a panel here from where we can see the operation of our uh, equipment, our incinerator and also from there we can give uh, the orders, the programs, we can see levels, we can see stages, we can see temperatures, we can see also RPMs of the fan, of the drag fan, exhaust fans and supply fans. We have all that information. We can start pumps, circulating pumps and also in, in this panel we can acknowledge alarms, we can see alarm history and everything which is going uh, on our incinerator. Let's move on, here we have uh, 
some indications uh, for the watch if they are entering uh, in this label must be always where is located uh, the entrance entrance on the engine room always switch off the dead alarm don't forget that let's move on quickly and because i remember also that i have talked about that my dear friends oxygen and acetylene it's really really important uh, that they have different connections also they have signs here and luckily i have uh, my pen you can see some signs here and also they have different uh, tightening between uh, acetylene and oxygen they have a different uh, turn counterclockwise and counterclockwise for each uh, of the gases it's really really different uh, between them so also here we have also the msds for the acetylene we have a red color for the acetylene and also as you have seen the previous videos i we have told about the cracks here when how it's important so to determine any leakages here you can take shop and uh, take around here on the piping and check if there is any leakages in case that there is presented any leakages you will see the bubbles will going bigger and bigger so let's move on to another picture everything must be closed and everything must be depressurized and also the pressure gauges must be calibrated my dear friends a really really good thing to know is that your battles must be always closed and your equipment your adjusting your pressure adjusting equipment your uh, safety valves on the system must be checked and must be replaced because they have uh, the expired date that is uh, sure for that so what is going on now uh, okay so we have seen we have seen all these uh, labels here we will go also to the oxygen uh, some indications here and also here all these connections must be checked so uh, this is the poster in the elevator that the captain and chief officer and chief engineer second engineer must avoid using on the same time also here we have instructions about how to wash hands and now we have uh, also the situation with uh, this uh, virus uh, but my opinion about this virus that uh, there is tremendous uh, news and really i don't know if anymore this is a uh, something bad for the human because as we know uh, from the history there was a lot of viruses we know also the swing virus, uh, the bird flu and whatever. So I believe uh, the media make a lot of panic about that. That is true. So, but to wash hands, it's really, really important. So this is the engine room toilet. Okay, we have also signs here and I'd like to show you uh, next let's see next so also here very important is also we have posted on the engine control room the matrix uh, here there is a, de a job description and what of protection you will use uh, depends of uh, the work you're doing so there is posters also we have discussed about that posters the posters must be uh, on the level of the eye of the human and that is the correct and the proper way 
Uh, also here we can see the auxiliary boiler heating there is entrance the inlet and the outlet and also we have a safety valve here this is the suction of boiler water circulating uh, pump as you can see from here this is the water level okay we will draw it with this is the water drum here from here there is a suction of our pump and from there from the pump is going to the exhaust gas economizer reheat the water and return it back on the top of the egg auxiliary boiler the entrance is on the top so there uh, the steam it's already steam mixed with uh, water but the steam goes up as you know because we have our uh, main steam valve on the top the steams go on the top and travel to the uh, line as you can see here, uh, why I stand on this picture for the reason that if you have any valves must be as much as possible clean like that so you will not have any indication of leakages. Also my dear friends, really really important is uh, the isolations and as much as possible we need to restore the solutions okay let's say we make one job on the piping but we must always order the solution and repair back so our pipes will be protected and also the personnel who are involved will be protected from uh, for the touching surfaces and uh, also uh, the pipe which transfer the media let's say steam or fuel will not be cooled down and remain uh, isolated another thing here that we can see this is uh, the piping the exhaust piping from uh, diesel generators they must be also in good condition to not have any leakages of the exhaust gases because here also located some flexible joints inside which is really really important to remember uh, when you are doing your round to inspect all the machinery spaces as a third engineer or fourth engineer also the new engineers and the senior engineers so also here you can see some valves and many valves are hidden in the engine room so a good engineer must locate all the valves and know the function for what is that and what what area it isolates let's say that if you have in some area a big leakage of air let's say of steering gear because this valve uh, goes to steering gear what you should do you should close this valve for the reason that if you are not closing this valve the air bottles and the air compressor uh, mostly the air compressor will be working for a prolonged time and this is really really bad uh, for such equipment as air, air compressor also the best practice and uh, this is just a tip from me is uh, when you are finishing the day and there is a finished work on the deck a engine crew shall close the supply of air to the deck for the reason that never know where is a, a valve a, remain not properly closed or some valves are leaking through the time that is true you'll be able to save the air and to save uh, your air compressor for unnecessary maintenance 
for sure leakages uh, due to the oldness of the valve will be presented that is true but this is a good practice uh, of engineer which is thinking how the engine room operates and what will be able to do to make it more functional in your engine room and to be more safe so here my dear friends we will stop because i do not like make videos more than uh, 15 minutes because it will be really really big information so uh, absorb this information and we will continue to the next video thank you that you have stayed tuned thank you that you have subscribed don't forget to press the bell button for the community news for the posts that i have do and also my dear friends i uh, propose some interesting things that you have already done and I thank you for that. Also, thank you that you are participate uh, in the polls that we are making, uh, the questions that you are asking, uh, you are answering. It's really, really important for me. Thank you that also you have subscribed to the membership, and also uh, there is available some merchandise on the channel where you can buy some caps which is made by Adventure Story Channel and some t-shirts which is also uh, my design. So my dear friends, don't forget to join also the Abyss platform, the best gaming uh, platform in the world. And also don't forget to play the Gods Unchained, which also I play. I just uh, make a propose to you. So my dear friends, see you in the next video and I hope you like it. Bye bye.